All this for $6.99 a month? Sign me up. Hey, I'm Emily from Ms. Mojo, and today we're going through every upcoming Disney Plus show. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at every program we know of that's exclusively being distributed on the Disney Plus streaming service. Now we're excluding original movies because they deserve a list of their own. Let's go! The Mandalorian Release date November 12, 2019 Premiering the same day Disney Plus launches, The Mandalorian is sure to be a subscription magnet. No matter where you stand on the current state of the Star Wars franchise, there isn't a fan on this planet who hasn't always wanted to see a live-action series set in a galaxy far, far away. Jon Favreau of Iron Man and 2019's The Lion King helms this ambitious project, which sets itself in between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Pedro Pascal stars as a lone gunslinger who operates outside of the New Republic's authority. I will be your champion. With a Rogue One prequel series centered on Cassian Andor, and the seventh season of The Clone Wars also arriving on the streaming service, we have a good feeling about this. Hello, Master. It's been a while. Various docu-series. Release dates TBA 2019 to 21. On Disney's docu-series front, Angela Kinsey is hosting a cooking show entitled Be Our Chef, Kristen Bell reunites a high school musical cast in Encore, and the world according to Jeff Goldblum peels back the layers of ordinary objects. Life, uh, finds a way. For filmmaking fans, Ink and Paint explores the unsung heroines of Disney animation, Cinema Relics takes us inside the iconic art and props of the movies, and Into the Unknown reveals a behind-the-scenes look at Frozen 2. Audiences will get a first-hand glimpse at Disney parks through Magic of Animal Kingdom and an Imagineering series. Every day people take center stage in the family-oriented Reconnect and the creative competition series Shop Class. We'll also experience a whole new world in the travel show Rogue Trip and animal docu-series Earth Keepers. Various Marvel Shows Release dates TBA 2019-20 Daredevil and Jessica Jones may still be under the Netflix umbrella, but plenty of Marvel content is heading to Disney+. The MCU will be expanded upon in several limited series spin-offs, including Falcon and Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Loki, and an untitled Hawkeye project. It'll be my genuine pleasure. Not every Marvel show is restricted to the MCU canon, however. Inspired by the comic book series of the same name, Marvel's What If is an animated anthology series that explores alternate universes. The first episode, for example, takes us to a reality where Peggy Carter is Captain America and Steve Rogers is Iron Man. We're also getting a couple of docu-series, as Marvel's Hero Project shines a spotlight on young, real-life heroes, and Marvel 616 delves into the company's heroic history. Monsters at Work Release date TBA 2020. I can't believe it. Oh, Mike. I was on TV! Ha! Did you see me? Pixar has a couple of mini projects coming to the streaming service, such as the Toy Story 4 spin off Forky Asks a Question. Uh huh? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. On the heels of the critically acclaimed Pearl, Pixar is continuing their Spark Shorts program as well. The studio's most high profile offering, however, is a Monsters Inc. spin off series entitled Monsters at Work. Where Monsters University was a prequel, Monsters at Work serves as a sequel to the original film. Taking place six months after Monsters Inc. made the switch from screams to laughs, the series sees John Goodman and Billy Crystal reprise their roles as Sully and Mike, respectively. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me! So help me! So help me! And cut! <laughs> We're still working on it, it's a work in progress. They're joined by Ben Feldman as a mechanic who looks up to the monstrous duo. Question is, will Boo return to Monstropolis, though? Various movie adaptations. Release dates TBA. When Disney acquired 20th Century Fox, X-Men and Fantastic Four weren't the only properties they soaked up. Fox broke new ground in 2018 with Love, Simon which was promoted as the first film from a mainstream U.S. studio to revolve around a gay teenage rom-com. No pressure for you to show up, but I hope you do. Because you deserve a great love story, too. Love, Simon. Given the boundaries Disney has pushed with Andy Mack, a Love, Simon sequel series seems like a strong fit for Disney+. 
But if it's nostalgia that you're into, Ron Howard is in talks to develop his 1988 fantasy cult classic Willow into a TV series. The original cast of Fox's The Sandlot will reprise their roles in a series set over 20 years after the original. Remember, kid, there's heroes and there's legends. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Follow your heart, kid. And you never go wrong. Along with The Sandlot, Disney's The Mighty Ducks was another film that defined the 90s sports movie. It's been rumored that the Ducks may be getting back on the ice, although Disney Plus isn't committed to the project. Yet. High School Musical The Musical The Series Release date November 12, 2019 The title might be a mouthful, but we couldn't be more excited to revisit East High. Instead of Troy Bolton, Sharpay Evans, and Gabriella Montez, this series shifts attention to a new class of wildcats. Wildcats Among the cast is Sophia Wiley of Andy Mack and Broadway vet Kate Reinders, whose credits include Into the Woods, Gypsy, and Wicked. Taking a mockumentary approach, the series revolves around a winter theater production of the original high school musical, delivering a mix of old and new songs. Tim Federley, who co-wrote the Oscar-nominated Ferdinand, developed the series and Oliver Goldstick, who's best known for his work on Pretty Little Liars, will act as one of its executive producers. This could be the start of something new. It's the start of something new. It feels so right to be here with you. Oh. Diary of a Female President Release date TBA 2019-20 The Princess Diaries followed a young woman's journey to becoming queen, and Diary of a Female President does something similar. See, if I were Princess of Genovia, then my thoughts and the thoughts of people smarter than me would be much better heard. Gina Rodriguez of Jane the Virgin produces this half-hour comedy created by Ilana Pena, who served as a staff writer on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. In this marvelous show! Singing? Zero. Commitment? A million. The series focuses on a 12-year-old Cuban-American girl who will one day become President of the United States. Before getting into office, however, she had to survive middle school, an experience that's detailed through her diary. Between Elizabeth Warren, Tulsi Gabbard, Kirsten Gillibrand, Kamala Harris, and Amy Klobuchar, the U.S. could see its first female president in 2020. Julian Castro could also become the country's first Hispanic and Latino American president. So, this Disney series just might be ahead of its time. Book of Enchantment Release date TBA Writer Serena Valentino has shined a light on the dark side of Disney animation, penning novels about the evil queen from Snow White, The Beast, Ursula the Sea Witch, Maleficent, and Mother Gothel. You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. I'm the bad guy. Serena's villain series is in the early stages of being adapted into a TV show under the guidance of Quantico executive producer Michael Seitzman. Book of Enchantment won't be the first time Disney has observed its classic villains from a new perspective. My happy ending. <laughs> Storybook has me written as a villain, and villains always lose, so... From Once Upon a Time, to Descendants, to 2014's Maleficent, this has become something of a trend for the Mouse House as of late. If Book of Enchantment can recapture the black magic of Valentino's novels, however, this is an apple every Disneyholic will want to sink their teeth into. Muppets Live Another Day Release date TBA Kermit, Miss Piggy, and Jim Henson's other immortal puppets have starred in several TV series over the years, most notably The Muppet Show. adult approach to the characters was met with a mixed response in 2015's The Muppets, however, resulting in its cancellation after one season. Ah! Nobody yeah. saw that, right? Ah! <laughs> While Disney Plus's new series is still in early development, Muppets Live Another Day certainly sounds like an appropriate title for a reboot. Rumors indicate that the show may be helmed by Once Upon a Time creators Edward Kitsis and Adam Horowitz with actor Josh Gad on board. Let me handle this. Let me oh, handle this, buddy. I am here as a defender. 
Rather than being another modern interpretation, the series could take place after the events of 1984's The Muppets Take Manhattan, as the gang bands together to find Rolf the dog. That was the most humiliating experience of my life. Secret Society of Second Born Royals, release date TBA. Given the success Disney has had with Star Wars and Marvel, it only makes sense that they'd invest in a show that aims to bring together the best of both worlds. This sci-fi series centers on a 15-year-old girl set to inherit the throne from her mother. Upon arriving at summer school, she realizes that it's actually a training camp for super-powered royals. In addition to Disney's more mainstream properties, Secret Society of Second Born Royals also sounds like one of their most underrated movies, Sky High. If life were to suddenly get there, I doubt it would happen in high school. The series is being produced by Austin Winsberg of Gossip Girl and Mike Cars of The Wonderful World of Disney. Director Anna Mastro has a diverse background in television, and this may be her most prominent undertaking yet. I can't believe how awesome Disney Plus sounds. That's just the original stuff. We're also getting all 30 seasons of The Simpsons and stuff from the Disney Vault. Remember those commercials? Awesome. Anyway, while you wait for November to get here, check out our other great Disney content and be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo.